Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on the Kelta News. My name is David Sariro, and I have the pleasure today to have over the phone a fantastic, fantastic band called Enola Fold from Australia, and I have over the phone the band leader, Mr. Joe Mutol. How are you, Joe, today? I am very well. How are you? Very good. Thank you so much for being over the phone. So we are calling you. You are in Australia now, right? Uh, at the moment, yeah, but I will be oh. back in the States in the next couple of days. Oh, wonderful. Where in Australia you are now? I'm in Melbourne. Um, it's a city down the bottom. Oh, wow. Beautiful city. Beautiful city. So, um, Have you been there? Dear Joe, I had the pleasure to listen to your new single called Closer, which will be available on September 20th. Uh, before the new album, uh, which we are all expecting, which will be around spring 2017, if I believe. And uh, yep. I listen to that song, Closer. It is absolutely amazing. It is relaxing. Oh, thank you. You know, the, it is, uh, uh, the craft is absolutely beautiful. The songwriting, the sound, the, 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 the vocals, everything, the arrangement, the production, it is First class. I can't wait to see the music video, by the way, <laughs> around this, because <laughs> it will be, I think, a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, uh, congratulations, my dear Joe. So, tell us a little bit. Oh, for the thank you very much. Know, for, for the people who don't know about yourself, um, because, like, you, you, you became quite huge in uh, Australia, tell us a little bit about you, yourself. What is your background and how this fantastic band of Enola Fall got created? Um, well, we we basically grew up in Tasmania, which is like this island state down the bottom of Australia. Um, a lot of people don't think it exists. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. When we do tours, um, a lot of people go, you know, well, that's not a real place, man. That's a cartoon. It, it is a real place. It's nothing like the cartoon. But um, we got started. We got started down there a few years ago, and um, we didn't really start the band with any desire to sort of go. A lot of people go, okay, we're going to start a band. We're going to do some gigs. We're going to yeah. tour. We're going to become big. Blah 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 blah. What we did is we basically just went, okay, look, we got some time. You know, we're we're at uni, we're at college, whatever. Let's let's just record some songs. Let's just do this. And it kind of grew organically. We started playing Tasmania, then we started playing around Australia, then we started recording. And uh, a few years ago, we we went to America for the first time for the CMJ, uh, sorry, excuse wow. me, the CMJ gig in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got to play alongside Courtney Barnett and, you know, another a, a few sort of big Australian acts. So, it, it, yeah, it's just kind of grown very slowly, you know what I mean? Well, it, it is absolutely uh, uh, phenomenal, and, and I really love your music. And what I like in it is that I'm sure uh, that that music would be perfect uh, as a soundtrack for movies, because when we listen to... Oh, I do, to I do music, hope so, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, because when we listen to your music, we, we would see all kind of... Uh, images so that's really really wonderful how would you describe your music would you call it like uh alternative uh, uh pop how would you call it um you, you see i i have a real hard time with this because um <laughs> you, we used to be able to say you used to be able to say alternative you used to be able to say indie uh all of these things the, the thing is alternative doesn't mean anything anymore it's like alternative yeah. to what yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, no, so true, i say true. look yeah I mean, it's funny. I think alternative is a very, like, it sort of, it, it kind of means Radiohead. It kind of means maybe Pearl Jam, stuff like that. Um, I'd say indie pop. Does that work yeah, for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. And, and even the, the word indie is, I think, a little bit too small because um, usually indie, you know, is like kind of recorded in the garage, you know. <laughs> but your, yeah, your, yeah, your, of course. Your, yeah, your, your, uh, your, your song closer, the, the sound is, absolutely superb you know it's uh it has really some lounge quality you know it's uh i don't know how to really to, to put this in words um because maybe because that's the best uh way to uh to talk about music is just to listen to it and we're going to play your song uh closer we're going to play it uh several several times um just tell awesome. us about uh what are your musical influences <laughs> Um, well, uh, loads. <laughs> I think I think that's the problem. I mean, I we I don't know how long you have. We can just sit here and I can list them. But I mean, I uh, when I was younger, I used to love. You know, I came. I spent a bit of time growing up in the UK in Europe, and um, oh, wow. well, not in Europe anymore, sadly. 
because uh, the yeah. idiots in the UK went, no, we don't want to be part of Europe anymore. Uh, they, the morons, the utter morons. But anyway, let's uh, sorry, you know what? I, 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 I don't, you know, I don't blame them because I'm from Europe, you know, and and I'm like, sometimes Europe can be such a mess. So I, I, I'm sad, of course, but you know, I, I can understand it because you know, Europe becomes such a mess. I, but anyway, <laughs> I know, I know, I know it is, but. At the same time, you know, I, I I really wanted the UK to be a little bit better than that. Look, anyway, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so yeah. basically, I grew up in the UK, and uh-huh. I hear I heard a lot of, uh, you know, Blur, Radiohead, all this kind of stuff, and that kind of they kind of led to led me to into. Do you know the uh, the term post rock? The post rock bands. Uh huh. Um, they were bands like Godspeed You Black Emperor, Sigur Rós, Mogwai, Explosions in the Sky, stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And and from there, you know, I went backwards and started listening to Kate Bush, uh, Peter Gabriel, uh, David Bowie. Yeah, so that's what I was for me, say is uh, uh, yeah, a, a lot of David Bowie I heard in your um, in in your music. I mean, in a good way, you know, yeah. uh, not uh, uh, like really in the background of it. And uh, yeah, no, that's a huge compliment. Uh, so uh, yeah, so so you like? Oh yeah, I mean, look. If anyone, you know, to con- if anyone says to me, oh, I heard David Bowie in the song, I mean, that's that's a huge compliment, man. That's that's oh, huge. Yeah, you know, R.I.P. R- R- Mr. Bowie, who died, uh, what, eight, nine months ago, but, you know, for me, it's a huge deal, so that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he was like a, a 360 uh, artist, you know, like a, he was one of the first to really um, think about the visual aspect of music. Yes, he, absolutely. Himself, yeah. yeah, character, and that was before Instagram. That was before all of that. You know. Now uh, I had that conversation actually with Pharrell Williams, and 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 uh, I told him like, you know, now we watch the music. We don't listen to it anymore. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So no, I mean, I think that's a really that. good point. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a really good point. I mean, and you know, you have people uh, now. Now the, 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 the focus does seem to have shifted to the intimate. So yeah. you have things with 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 uh, Instagram and Twitter and stuff, and you're seeing these 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 artists. You know, with no makeup, early in the yeah. morning, drinking a cup of coffee, just taking a photo of themselves and put it on the internet. Yeah. Whereas when you go back to the time of people like Bowie, the whole point was to be larger than life, you know, to be visible from exactly. space. Exactly. You know, exactly. that's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> so it has changed. Yeah. yeah, because we feel like we are living with them, you know, when they are um, taking themselves, yeah. like, out of the bath or whatever, and we feel like, oh, we yeah. are with them in the room, you know, so that's... Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah, yeah, that, that's really cool. So when are you? So you you're just going back home a little bit uh, to Australia, and then you're going to go back to the US, right? Are you going to have some tour around? Yeah, we got to, we got a, um, a, a run of shows. Um, we're going to be hitting the Midwest and New York, you know, October the fifth. Uh, and yeah, basically, and basically, basically with a lot of a lot of stuff happening. Delancey, yeah, which is awesome. Uh, we played the Aussie barbecue there. Uh, a couple of years ago for CMJ, uh, I really, really like that place, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and you have some. Uh, um, so you have uh, LA, you have uh, Minneapolis, you have Chicago, you have Madison, Milwaukee, and New York on yep. October 5th at the Delancey, which is on the Lower East Side, if I'm not mistaken. And it's uh, uh, yeah, a great venue, definitely. Uh, so yes, uh, my dear Joe, thank you so much for taking. Um, some time out of your very busy schedule um, in Australia. Uh, what is it? Is the night for you now? No. Yeah, it's four. It's four o'clock in the morning. I've been staying up watching Independence Day. I don't know why. You're it was kidding me. You've been waiting four in the morning to talk to us. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why not? We are horrible. We are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, me, it's very hard for me to wake up before 10 a.m., you know, so. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, 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 no, no. But... so when people call me at 9 a.m. and they leave a message, I call them back, I always say, uh, sorry, I missed your call. <laughs> it's like I was. I, I, don't, I don't even. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I, I, for me, I, I can wake up before ten, but I'm not actually there. I'm just like little. I'm a ghost before the midday. Yeah. So, no, really. I, I'm a night out. It's fine. It's fine. It's like the body is here, but the, the mind is still in the bed. <laughs> and yeah, both much, can connect much. around twelve noon. <laughs> That's very funny. That's very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, my <laughs> name is David Serrero, and I had the pleasure, pleasure to have today on the Culture News on iTunes Radio. Uh, iTunes podcast and even on SoundCloud, the wonderful, fantastic, fantastic band called Enola Fall. Let me spell it out for you. It's E N O L A 
Fall, S A L L. Uh, you can um, uh, read about them. Uh, they have a Facebook page, uh, and Nola Fall. They have Twitter, and Nola Fall Band. They have Instagram, and Nola Fall. Uh, we say hello to our dear friend Erika Tucker as well. And also, they are going to release a new single. Fantastic music, really, guys. I heard it. We're going to play it in exclusivity. Uh, fantastic, called uh, Closer, which will be available from September 20th. Uh, I invite you guys to purchase uh, their previous album. They have released three albums before and three EPs, and they tour in Australia and across uh, the world. And they will be uh, performing on October 5th in New York at the Delancey. You guys have to go to buy tickets and to go to check them out. They are two uh, lovely guys, uh, extremely kind, as you can hear. And uh, their kindness is definitely um, heard in their music. Uh, my dear Joe, thank you so much for taking some time, and I will see you in New York. Excellent. Thank you very much, and I will see you there too. My pleasure. Take care, Joe. Bye-bye.